Good afternoon, everyone. How is everyone today? Hi, my name is Tanisha. I'm a cheerleader for the Baltimore Blast. Let's go Blast! So, what do you guys think about that introduction? It's pretty energetic, right? Seem friendly, but you guys probably think I'm an airhead. <laughs> I'm going to do another introduction, and then we'll talk about what you think of me then. Now pretend you do not see me at all. <laughs> Been around. Hi, I'm Wonder Woman. <laughs> Just kidding. My name is Tanisha, and I'm a chemist. Now what do you think of me? Probably intelligent, mm, innovative, but you think I'm a nerd too, right? Well, that's exactly what science cheerleaders try to talk about. We um, try to challenge stereotypes or play on certain stereotypes, such as being nerdy, airheaded, and smart, and funny, and energetic. So now we're going to watch a short clip on the science cheerleaders. Uh, enjoy. Can you guys play the clip, please? for the Houston Texans in 2005, 6, and 7. I have a Bachelor of Science degree um, in Aerospace Engineering from Wichita State University, and I currently work at NASA's Johnson Space Center as an engineer. I like to do the Space Cowboy Dance. Come on, girl! I come from a family of science. My dad was a chemist. Oh, I just remember being a little girl, and my parents asked me what I wanted for Christmas, and I said, a microscope set. From a little girl, I remember my mom, she was a registered nurse. She really made a difference in the lives of the patients, and I knew from right then that I wanted to work in healthcare. What do you want to be? A, a doctor, a teacher, and a cheerleader. I am a former uh, Washington Redskins cheerleader, got a undergrad degree in molecular biology. I worked at the NIH for a couple years, then I went to law school at Georgetown University. I was a patent attorney, and after that I went to medical school at George Washington University. <laughs> And then I moved to Houston, Texas and did an internship in general surgery, and now I'm an emergency medicine doctor in uh, Houston, Texas. great seasons with the Tennessee Titans, cheerleading for them. I work as a neuroimaging clinical researcher at Vanderbilt University. I graduated with a degree in neuroscience from Vandy, and I'm just happy to be a part of Science Cheerleader and be here. I really encourage these kids, I'm like, hey, if you like science, go after it. People tell you to think outside of the box, and I'm like, do more than that. You can live outside of the box. Science cheerleaders are dynamic, engaging, well-rounded women, and flat-out amazing. <laughs> Science cheerleaders are smart, they're funny, they're entertaining, they're engaging, but most importantly, they're an incredible source of inspiration to millions of young women. Go science! You get the point. An equation of a science cheerleader. And now I can give you a formal introduction. Hi, my name is Tanisha. I'm a Baltimore Blast cheerleader, and I have a degree in chemistry. That makes me a science cheerleader. Science Cheerleaders is an organization of over 250 professional, former or current professional cheerleaders 
and the NFL and NBA, and they are pursuing or um, going to school for STEM careers, which is short for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We promote science and STEM in the community as well as or, uh, what you call it? encourage people to participate in science activities. We were founded by Darlene Cavalier, who is a former 76ers, a dancer, and she earned her master's degree at the University of Pennsylvania, uh, studying in science history, science policy, and sociology. She also is the founder of SciStarter, which enables everyday people like us to learn about, participate, and to contribute to science through recreational activities and research projects. I was always fascinated by science cheerleaders because I think it's the perfect combination of brains and beauty, of course. <laughs> Things that I'm passionate about. I joined the organization in September 2013 and I have been enjoying every minute, which is roughly every 60 seconds of it. <laughs> what I love most about the science cheerleaders is how we promote STEM. STEM, especially in women, by captivating our audience with our enthusiasm. Just recently, I participated in the National Science Foundation's career fair, and we got everybody involved in a STEM cheer. And also, I participated in the Science at the Sixers, which the uh, science cheerleaders performed halftime at the 76ers game. We also got people um, to participate in a project by Sci Starter, which is Project Mercury, and we collect samples of microbes from people's shoes and cell phones, and we compare those to the microbes found in our International Space Station. And I also visit elementary schools and talk to the children about science and cheerleading. And science, to me, is a ton of fun, which is roughly about 2,000 pounds of fun. <laughs> And it's an rewarding opportunity to share my joy in science with others through the science cheerleaders. Another one of my favorite aspects of being a science cheerleader is the jaw-dropping effect. Just recently at a game, I had an individual ask me, what do I do during the day? I said, sir, I'm a chemist. And his jaw dropped. <laughs> I don't think he was expecting that answer. At work, I usually come in dressed up and my face all done up in makeup as it is now um, for days that I have a game or practice. My coworkers say, Tanisha, why do you have makeup on? Oh, because I have cheerleading practice. And their jaw drops. <laughs> Again, I don't think that's the answer that they were expecting. But to me, it's crucial to get the word out about STEM careers, especially in women and minorities. Through my experiences in work and in school, there weren't many females or minorities in STEM. Now the inner nerd in me emerges. Did you know that out of 65 countries, the United States ranked 36th place for math and only 28th place for science? And only 26% of STEM workers in the American workforce are female, and only 9% of STEM workers in the United States our minority groups. Maybe these numbers are low because there isn't enough positive exposure to STEM careers. Or perhaps people are interested in STEM, but they seem intimidated by it. The beauty of science cheerleaders is that we use our positive attributes, brains of course, and beauty, to encourage people to get more involved in STEM. So what have you guys learned from science cheerleaders? Well, obviously, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. And as the video said, you want to think not just outside, of the, outside the, the box, but go beyond that. Live outside of the box. And remember, anybody can be a scientist, even a cheerleader. <laughs> go science! <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>